I've seen it. Some of my generation wandering here and there along the paths untried, too often leading nowhere, seeking out the dreams that sometimes leave them crazy, looking for the promised peace they'll never find in this world that has been left them. Nor in sorrows they tried drowning in a bottle. Some looked in psychedelic dreams for their salvation. And in the smoke they saw a world made for econs, not for living hearts. They could protest or swallow whole the structures of their prison walls. While God is dying, along car crowded streets, God is dying. In cars bought in installments, God is dying. In childish dreams of summer, God is dying. They told me that this my generation's fallen far from grace, ejecting lies so often masked in robes of faith. No more my country, right or wrong, no chosen nation. Because the time is now to stand with truth together and reject all that is false. No more the blind faith of tradition, fire and brimstone. No more the promises for God after elections. No more of greed is good, each for his own fifteen minutes empty fame. No hypocrisy of leaders following winners, never risking loss while God is dying. At the walls along our border, God is dying. In midst of great replacement, God is dying. In fear of all that's foreign. God is dying. But I think that this my generation long has been preparing for a new world with hope reborn and not despairing, for a new future that is here, a revolution without arms, because we still believe that if our God is dying, in three days he will be risen. In the things that we believe our God is risen. In the things that we desire our God is risen. In the world that we are making God is risen.